Are you following me? Are you stalking me? I think you are. I think I've seen you here before on the channel. That makes me just want to break out my trusty little knife. See this little thing now? It's the Punisher knife. Punisher, punish you. So why are you here? Why am I here? We're here to do an unboxing. That's why we're here. The knife's just fun stuff, you know? But today we're going to take a look at the Raid Max Syrian case. This is a brand new case from the folks over at Raid Max. Has some pretty cool features from what I can see on the outside. It comes in three different colors. You can get it in white, red, or black. We have to get the black one. Black is beautiful. And we're going to be taking a look at that. And what is this so funky about this thing? Well, it's got nine 5.25 bays. It's got four 3.5 or 2.5 SSD bays, and it features seven expandability slots for your PCI cards. It's basically your standard mid-tower case with some little fleshed out cool things. It's supposed to be like totally hands-free. Well, you know, tool-free, not hands-free. You gotta touch the thing, but wouldn't hands-free be cool? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm telling the computer to build itself. You can't do that? Upgrade, baby, upgrade. Anyways, let's jump right in and let's see what makes this new Raid Max Syrian a cool product. All right, so check it out, folks. Here we've got the box. And one thing I just want to point out right off the bat is these guys use UPS. You guys UPS, they throw shit around like madmen, especially during the holiday season because they're busy. But this box came all completely in one piece. Just want to show you guys this all the way around. No dents, no scratches. The actual box it came in was packed in a box and there was actually like a foam side around the entire package ensuring that the case came to you all in one piece. Now. Maybe the box doesn't matter to some people, but I like to have it. It's good to have around if you want to put it back in, especially if you're selling a computer or something, you want to have a whole box. So let's go ahead and let's take the little trusty knife here. Make a slit here. Make a slit here. Go ahead and do this. Now there are a lot of ways to do this. Some guys prefer to cut the bottom and just dot right at the bottom. Myself, I'm more of a cut the top and turn the case over kind of guy. So go ahead and just do that real quickly. and. Uh, since I'm not in my kitchen like we were the last time I'm all swinging like this with the damn thing, that was crazy. We get to actually do an unboxing in a decent area. So, pop back up. Two foam packages on top. Completely foam, protecting the case inside internally. I actually have not seen this yet on anybody else's stuff. You guys seen this? Background guys? Yeah. I ain't seen this. Either of they. So this is a pretty good packing job done by these guys. Got one on the top, one on the bottom, and there's also a little carrying case right here that I'm grabbing a hold of. Very easy. We got all this plastic right here. We'll go ahead and just remove that. I'm gonna start out just myself, guys. You guys know me. Rodney, he hates the motherboard tray. I hate sharp edges. We've all got our little tweaks. And so far, everything on this feels good and quality built. So we're gonna pop it around the front. Okay, so let's start to dissect the Syrian. We'll start off right here in the front. We can see that all these little panels right here should just easily nice and pop off. I'm just gonna go ahead and dissect the whole case for you guys. You guys like that a lot. Um, also, I just wanna show this up to you guys. Every one of these has a filter inside of it so that no dust is actually gonna get through. It'll be caught in the filter and because of the way it's made, you could rinse it out very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and keep popping these out. Okay, now that we're dissecting it, we can see that the case comes standard. There's one fan right here on the front. And then we have the accessories bundle right here. This is gonna have all of our extra wiring, stuff like that. We'll raid max on the little box right there. You guys can see it, I'm not gonna dump this out. This is basically all the stuff for doing your cable management and all that stuff is all inside this box. I just really don't wanna make a mess. You guys see the case can be very easily accessed from the front. All these bays also all removable. We have our start button, our restart button. You can see the lights for power and hard drive activity right here. We have our mic and our headphones. Then we have two standard USB and then one USB 3.0, as well as two fan controllers right here located at the front of the case. Turn to the side now, we'll start taking the side panels off. You guys always like to talk about cable management. So we'll take a look right now and we'll see how much room is actually back here for cable management. Screws are on here pretty good. Uh, there we go. Take that off. Now, we're gonna see right back here right now, there's not too much room. Now, there are places right here, all this rubber mesh right here is for cable management. Let me see here. 
There'll be a little bit of wiring back here, depending on which cables you're going to use. We'll get to that when we do the build um, to see more. It looks like there'll be a little bit of room, but not a lot more down here. One thing to take note of, this right here is the motherboard cutout tray. You do not need a removable motherboard tray when you have this. This is big enough to go ahead and remove the CPU from, so you wouldn't have to dismount the board. I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side. I talked about this earlier, guys, but here's the handle up close, just so you guys can see. So you can just carry this thing. Pretty cool little feature. I'm going to flip it around, show you guys the rear. You can see there's another fan right here in the back, a nice blue colored one. Now, one thing that's really weird is that uh, these little handles are trippy. I don't really know what they're for. I mean, they're cute, but uh, I don't really know what their functionality is. I guess just make it simpler to pull the door off. A little utility handle. Then we can see right back here as well, at the same time, let me get this side panel off. That was actually a little bit kind of difficult to remove. Now, let's take a look. There's a giant cooling fan on the side of the case window. Or not even the window, just the mesh grill, actually. So that's pretty cool. All your cables and everything are right here to connect to it. Um, just one thing to take note, on the front of the case, there were two fan controllers, and so far we've come across three fans. So we've already run a fan control so far. This is just an unboxing, just something I want to point out to you guys. All right, then. Let's go ahead and just turn it, though. I'll show you guys the inside. Lots of room. I can feel it. Everything is quality made inside. All of the wiring harness is right here. This is what connects to your motherboard for all of your external power and all that. Pretty good stuff. Um, all of the motherboard offset things are already in here as well. I mean, let me try to bring this up to the cameraman so we can see that a little bit better. All of the offset stuff is in there. You can see. So you don't have to do any of that yourself. You just slap whatever motherboard you got in there and hopefully it fits. You can change them around, I'm sure. You can see there's a couple different places to move them around at. This case, we use either a standard ATX motherboard or a micro ATX motherboard. It will not take any extended or anything bigger. And you guys can see, last but not least, in the back, there are seven ports to expand. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven PCI slots expandability. Pretty good. All in all, not a bad looking mid tower case. So this has been the unboxing of the new Raid Max Syrian case. Look for the full review as we have our tech Anthony Reynolds build a system in it and then go further with it. Thanks for watching. See you guys back here on the motherboards.org.